family welcome back to the channel celebrity scandalous so i just want to weigh in with my two cents on this whole funky dineva al reynolds fox soul tgif situation um and funky dineva talking to carlos king about armand wiggins a lot of people are saying that armand flew off the handle again and i'm just gonna say just think of it in this perspective i totally understand armand being annoyed with funky dineva's you know saying that he wants Armand to mature and he sees it for him, but he needs some growth and he was disappointed. If you felt these things, because he says, he couches it with, you know, I'm coming from the perspective of like a big brother or an older person. If you really felt that way, then why would you talk about it publicly? Why wouldn't you pull him to the side if you really want to see this person excel and grow? Because what it, what it seemed like most people was that you have two black men influential black men getting together and just publicly throwing Armand under the bus. You know, they're saying, oh, he's up next, but it's almost like he's up next if he plays the game like this or if he does that. And I feel like this is the same thing that happened with Monique. Remember when she was blackballed? I feel like they get behind closed doors and then they start talking about, well, you know, she could do this, you know, if she were to act a little bit more like this and if she weren't so difficult. And so then you start having people that are the gatekeepers. And when you tell, you have two people, then you have four, then you got 10, and then all of a sudden, nobody wants to work with you. So for Funky Dineva to go publicly and make those statements about Armand, he needs to grow up, and all of these things, they all may very well be true. But did you need to bring that to Carlos King's platform? And if you really wanted to see this young man excel, then why not? You gave him the playbook. You said you gave him, well, he said that he gave him the playbook about Claudia and everything behind the scenes. So why wouldn't you give him this piece of advice behind the scenes as well? See, this to me was a perfect example of how people really get blackballed and how you, if you don't uh, fit into the clique and you're not part of the gang or the group, then you're ousted. And then your success is dependent upon who likes you and who doesn't like you. And I'm just going to say this. Think about it this way. If you work a job and, and you, you're you given a performance review, it's done privately in a one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody wants to be, um, I won't say that it was a reprimand, but nobody wants to be called out in, in, in you know, their um, weaknesses highlighted publicly unless the person is just really slamming you. This is YouTube. This is entertainment. So anything you say can and will be used against whomever you say it about, right? So when you're making these comments, it's not going to be perceived as um, constructive criticism. It's going to be just perceived as criticism, <laughs> right? So I just didn't think this was a great forum for Funky to provide guidance to Armand. And I could really see Armand being pissed about it. Personally, if it were me, um, I'd be mad. I'd be hot. Like, you know... It's not like Funky said uh, anything really slanderous or anything, but just the whole situation. It's like Funky was like, you know, I was disappointed. I was really, I really saw this for him, thought it was an opportunity. Well, you know, I'm kind of feeling like um, if somebody tells me, if somebody quits a job and then I'm their replacement, don't tell me it's good for me when you left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it could be good for me, but you sitting in a position of authority as if, well, it wasn't good enough for me. But for you, it's like, you just got to be careful how you say things. It's the optics, how they sound and how it comes across. So I could see our mom being a little bit miffed about all of this. But anyway, you know, I have no dog in the fight. Um, but I do understand how people, you have to be careful when you're critiquing people, especially on a platform like YouTube or any of these platforms. Um, yeah, you just got to be careful, you know, and especially if you consider yourself to be a colleague and you're really trying to um, be a mentor to somebody. I think it could have been handled differently because now it's just a bunch of mess. OK, and all parties involved created the downfall of that show. You can't you can't have Armand shoulder it by himself. Maybe he was the final straw, but obviously it was on the decline when Funky Daneva left. I mean, he was competing with them. You know, when they would go live, he would go live. So it's just, it's a mess. And, you know, it's kind of unfortunate. But so leave your comments and let me know your thoughts. But please be respectful. Please don't jump in my comments with, you know, any hate speech. Because this is not um, advocating for Armand 
and being against Funky Geneva, I just felt that it could have been handled differently. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.